A man is in jail accused of leading police on a chase in a stolen semi from Minnesota. It was down I-64 from St. Charles County to Town & Country. State troopers tell our Robert Towns and the suspect also tried to carjack a mom and her young daughter before they arrested him right near the elementary school. It sounds like something out of a wild movie. I saw it westbound on 64 in the O'Fallon area between 94 and Winghaven Boulevard. Around 5 this afternoon, this eagle-eyed master sergeant with the Missouri State Highway Patrol got the radio call. Investigators say a man stole a tractor from Minnesota, drove 500 miles to Missouri. We pursued it as safely as we could. And once he saw police and troopers in St. Louis County were hot on his trails. Out west uh, towards Lake St. Louis first, then it flipped and came east on 64. Investigators say the unarmed suspected semi-truck thief refused to stop. It's probably 75 to 80 miles an hour. Troopers say officials at the Minnesota company used a GPS system to track their stolen big rig and alert Missouri State Highway Patrol. He'd already avoided two sets of spike strips. Investigators tell us the runaway driver immediately pulled up to this school and hopped out of his running wheels. The truck pushed aside a dumpster and crashed into this building at Mason Ridge Elementary School in town and country. On the other side, thankfully, an empty classroom, but the stolen tractor tail not over. He jumped into a woman's van. She probably had a daughter that was five or six. She started screaming and then the cops just started running. About a dozen officers ran after the man and finally arrested him at a nearby soccer field. It was just shocking. Robert Townsend, five on your side. School officials say 19 students were inside the building at the time of the crash and three adults were inside Mason Ridge Elementary. No one was hurt. Tonight, the 31-year-old Minnesota man is in the St. Charles County Jail.